ego, isn't it, really? Yeah, but it's it's what you do when when you have a taste of reality. How how do you behave after that? Like I see, it, I used, it's not so much these days because a lot of people are aware of it. But like earlier days, you you get the tough guy come in, get a person half his size, pin him to the floor, submit him over and over and over, like like he's nothing, and how do they act then it's like well they make they make two choices from that point everything they thought they were in their little ego bubble they now not it's been popped Boop. okay so they go two things they never turn up again because they can't handle the truth okay and then they'll carry on living the lie and have you seen that a lot make, not so much like in the earlier days more but you'd be like they'd, they'd recreate their little bubble and make excuses for why that happened mm -hmm. right or and this is what's beautiful, is when people suddenly go, holy shit, like, what the fuck? You know, and that's the beautiful thing because if they can recognize that and be honest about that, like, I'm not what I thought I was. How the hell did that happen? They'll turn up again because now they're in, now they're curious, you know, yeah. being be, be honest with themselves. And when you can be honest with yourself and break yourself down like that, okay, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm a piece of shit in the universe. I didn't realize this. I thought I was something. So now I need to get better. So for me to get better, I need to turn up and constantly for the next year be reminded that I'm that piece of shit that is not who they thought they were. But slowly but surely, you slowly build yourself up and get better and better. But to get better, you also have to critique yourself every time, criticize yourself, look where you went wrong, how you got, how you can get better. But to get better, you have to look at how I got wrong, how, why did I lose there? A lot of people can't do that. A lot yep. of people can't critique themselves or look inwards on themselves. They'll make excuses, blame this, make excuses, da, 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 but they don't look it in themselves. Always, people are always trying to find answers outside themselves. Most answers are inside yourself. Yeah. You taught that in school, right? And everything else, like you learn ABC, you go to learn maths and all that. Well, when do people get taught how to think for themselves and look within themselves for answers? You see it all the time, gym hoppers and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Or oh, I must get better because they're doing that or they're doing... The answers are inside yourself. Yeah, it's discipline as well, isn't it? Most of the time, discipline. Man, yeah. Yeah. So it's a great tool. Jiu-Jitsu, grappling, martial arts is a great tool for character building, uh, making you a better person. Yeah. Well, and, it, and for ye doing it after years and years, you, you start, it starts to rewire the way you think about a lot of things. You're able to see things from, a f from afar more rather than get sucked into stuff and... You'd be able to look at stuff a little bit more critically uh, and analyze things a little better. What do you think that's directly from? I think so. It just gives that. you the tools to be aware. Of. Some people never get that. Now, that. That's what bends my head the most. It's like, say, somebody's trained martial arts for 10 years and ultimately they're still an arsehole. That bends my head. <laughs> yeah. Because you've never actually... We all have issues, especially guys. <laughs> yeah. Guys have issues. We're all insecure in some way or, you know, semi-narcissistic or something. <laughs> yeah. But... It's like, and why did why did you start martial arts? I'll tell you why I started martial arts. And everyone always goes, well, for a hobby or fitness. I don't because I want to be the hardest guy in the room. That's why I want to do it, you know. But on that journey, you get humbled and you go through all these ups and downs, but you start to realize there's so much more to martial arts and, and jiu-jitsu than what you realize. And it's made me a better, you know, father, person in general, way to think about things. You know, and I, won't, I don't think I would have had that without the tools that it gives me to be able to do that. But it's like the danger to it also is if you don't use it to it, look at yourself, your demons or your issues and that, and you don't use it critically in that way, some people use it to mask their issues and it builds the ego. Yeah, so like that's the worst thing because eventually that shit will catch up with you. You know, but you'll use it to suppress it and like use it. I'm this guy now. I'm this jujitsu mm -hmm. guy.